MovieWeb.com. Did you guys know each other before the film? No. No? No? I, heard, I read somewhere that you guys are friends. Oh, my gosh. Oh, God. What? No. Heavens. <laughs> hey, these tabloids will print anything. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> no, I, I met him for the first time auditioning. Yeah. No, so, no, I, yeah. It then was... he became my boss man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was totally like, you know. I, I, I wanted to read I'd like to read everybody in the world for a part I hate like just I have to give it to a star I don't even like you know and but you know many like I you know we had a playoff for this part and it was down to four actresses who could not be more completely different and you know I was joking that they were all sitting on the couch together thinking they're going up for different roles but I think Mindy's great because Simon's kind of got that laid back Australian charm and I needed somebody who's going to slap him around a bit and kind of get his energy going. I think he had to he had to really get up the comedy going to compete with her. He felt the whole movie was being stolen, so he kind of had to <laughs> I had him in panic mode throughout the movie, you know. And as an actress to like win a part, it's, you know, that what your panties. I mean, that's like what you wait to hear. You know, you wait to hear stuff like that. Yeah, isn't it, but isn't it much better than just be given a part? I wouldn't know, but yes. <laughs> I hope to have that other experience after Sex and Death 101. Well, you were perfect for the part. That's why I saw it. Oh. So you just knew. Like, See? Oh, I See? See? That's, no, that's, but I, that's, and you know just, what? Yeah. I say that's a compliment yeah. to how Dan uh, writes. You know, He's a brilliant writer. I make, I let the care actor come to me. <laughs> yeah, you know? right. um, Begging and crawling the, and pleading. The mountain comes to Muhammad. <laughs> so I wanted to ask you, he, he works in fast food. Is yes. that a metaphor that I should be? Yeah, aware yeah. Of? You know, it's funny you bring that because it was it was a, a kind of kind of a lot of scenes that had to do with that. We had more scenes to do with that that kind of got cut out. But yeah, I was reading. I was kind of reading Fast Food Nation at the time, and and it was and there was kind of there is a connection of just the way kind of men have sex is like it's just kind of like this instant and it's desire itself. You have this fast food. You have this instant nourishment, mm -hmm. and then you're feeling kind of ill and then you're hungry again and it's kind of like this 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 just vicious circle that I, I did want to connect to the whole fast food world that fat that sex has become almost fast food and that and at the end we won't say who he ends up with but he ends up having like this very nourishing nice meal with kale you know <laughs> and a good cleanse so I want to have kale sex <laughs> Ew. <It's> like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> How hard is it to shoot the perfect hamburger? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was the, the, the it, it is it is mm -hmm. you know it is tough because you know it's just because you know if you do more than one take it gets a little soggy <laughs> and weird. So do you go for the middle cart now? <laughs> a middle cart? There's a part in the mo the book is about the. Oh, in Food oh, Nation, I was my like, my lord. No, okay, wow. you're an amazing <laughs> interviewer. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> you win the prize. Well, the next time I went to the grocery store, that's what I thought about when she was mm -hmm. you know, going for mm -hmm. the I almost went. It was too much work, actually. <laughs> work hard, but I thought about it. <laughs> so, what else? Another thing I was going to ask you is that I, you were quoted saying you're a juvenile director. What made you watch? Oh, you God. Did I quote? Did I that's understand? lame. I don't think I've ever seen the word juvenile. I don't know. Okay, I was a juvenile director. Well, you know, I am a writer first. I mean, I wrote oh, this twenty years ago. <laughs> I was twelve at the time. But um, yeah, no. But getting into directing, it is a whole different thing because the key thing to my writing is taking lots of naps. And they kind of got bothered on the set if I tried to lie down and snooze. He's an amazing and, and director. It replenishes me. But um, yeah, I figure like the writing. The writing part and the editing part are like my warm cave, and like the the actual directing is like going out with a spear and trying to hunt woolly mammoths. It's very exciting and sometimes rewarding and fun, but it's always scary, always a little frightening. But of course, it it didn't come across on the set at all. Our fearless leader, with a whip and a cape. 